this video, we're going to take a look at the clone and smudge tool. Let's start with the clone tool. Now, I'd like to clone this material. So here in my group, I have this gold material, and I'm going to create a standard layer. And let's just place this here into uh, the top of this group here for gold. Now, in order to clone this entire material, I need to take this layer and I need to set all of its channels to pass through. So here I have base color. Let's set its blending mode to pass through. And we'll drop here to height. And let's set this to pass through. And let's go to roughness. Again, pass through. And then finally, here we have our metallic. And we're going to set this to pass through. So these are all the channels that I want to be able to clone. Now, here in the toolbar, I'm going to come over here to my clone tool. And so with this selected, I can hold down the V key to set this source. So here I have the V key pressed, and I'm going to left click in this area to set the source. The source is indicated here by this square viewport widget. So now I can just come over to the other side of the pants, and I can just start to left click to paint the value. And so here you can see that I've cloned that full material. Now, what's really awesome about this clone tool is that it's completely non-destructive. So here, let's go back into the layer stack. And here, I'm going to set this to base color. And let's come over and change the actual color. So instead of gold, here I'll select this fill layer, uh, which is actually driven by a substance material. And here in the advanced parameters, I have this gold color. And let me just change the color. So let's just uh, say we make it something like silver. So here I just change the color. The material changes and the cloned material changes as well. So whatever adjustments I make to the material, the cloned layer is going to inherit those changes as well. The smudge tool is very straightforward to use as well. So again, using the same layer with all of the properties set to pass through, I'm going to come over to the smudge tool and I'm going to start to just smudge in this area here. Again, the smudge is non-destructive, just like the clone. So let's go back to our fill layer. And for our gold color, let's set this back to a different color value. And again, the material transfers to this smudged area as well. Here in the gold roughness, I'll just increase this value. And here you can see again that we're working with this non-destructive clone and smudge. So here's another example on painting out a scene using the clone tool. So here I'm on the weapon and we see this visible scene. So what I'm going to do first is create a layer. And in this layer, I'm going to set my channels. So base color, I'm going to set this to pass through. Uh, let's come over here to my roughness and we'll set this to pass through. And then here metallic, we're going to set this to pass through as well. So now we have our layer and we're ready to start painting. So here I'm going to come over to uh, my clone tool and I need to set my clone source. Now, as I start to increase or decrease my brush size, you can see that the clone region scales as well. So in this case, I'm going to just move my brush to a pretty small amount so that I can get a small sample range. Now, I can also come in and adjust my hardness here for the alpha. I'm going to uh, bring this value down all the way to zero so that we get a pretty soft brush so that we can feather this. And so here, I'm going to uh, hold down the V key, and I'm going to make a sample range pretty close to where the seam is located. So just hold down V, left click to sample. Now, I might increase my brush just a little bit. Uh, actually, here, I'm going to just change that sample zone just a little bit more. There we go. So now that I have this set, so now I'm going to just uh, left click to place a stroke, hold down my shift key so that I can constrain this to a line. Uh, then bring my stroke down here towards the bottom, press the left mouse button again to apply another stroke. And I was able to paint out my scene pretty quickly just using the clone tool.